Hello, everybody, and welcome uh, back to my Alan Wake playthrough. Uh, well, last time, I guess the game's gonna tell us what happened last time, so let's listen. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. He was wrong, though. Was a he believes us later. He wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So. I have found that guy died. That was really sad. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Oh yeah, and then she was possessed. Oh, so you're all caught up, everybody. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you, you know, were too I, I kind of liked her. Rose. I mean, she was, was annoying and to Wake, but uh, one of the manuscript I pages I read yeah. off camera. Uh, make kind of characterized her a little bit, so now I care. <laughs> FBI. He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. After this, let's make this quick, huh? Help you, folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? Oh, that's right. She I'm said she lived in a trailer park. A writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on mm. time. As he I probably has a now, war injury I've or something. All sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. Uh, if the I remember correctly, the Cauldron Lake is the, the place that uh, Alan Wake myself. thought I'm a cabin was, sort. and it turns out there wasn't. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned we're, by a guy called Come on, Barry. Zink. You're confusing now, me. Some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Oof, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, to be at home when the volcano happened to erupt it. He could have been out getting groceries, but nah. Are you just going to let me into her backyard? Are you like her dad or something? No, it doesn't. Girl, why, why that long pause? Were you waiting for this so event to trick her? They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Ooh, what's that? Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the no, articles about no, this can't stuff reach were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah. Anyway, Wait, what lady is he talking she about? She both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Maybe uh, that's the creepy old darkness lady, and it's just using her visage. Oh my godness. Why is this artificially taking so long? Just take me to Rose. I don't need all this exposition. If I did, you'd be talking right now, Barry. Well, mister, <sighs> but I this digress. here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? Naughty we're stuff. Just here to talk to her I mean, now. we're here just to talk to her. She's standing right... I can see her. She's just standing right there. Welcome to... To... Oh, oh dear, dear, Mr. Wake. Mr. Wake. I'm so glad um, you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Why are you sound like Rose, a freaking creeper? Rose, you have creeper? my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Then on Wake turned around and said, She's acting creepy, Barry. Let's not go inside and drink the liquid hey, she's giving this us. this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, oh geez. Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Oh wow, okay, so there was something in the coffee. What? Oh, no, my mind is full of cobwebs. Come on, you're a writer, be descriptive. He 
He is he is fool. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights Bye, on. Bye, Barbara. Barbara must be the old lady. I I'd come visit you and, your and the old lady wife. must have been must finish the diver guy's started. husband. Who is not an author. I'm really confused. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. <gasps> Whoa, what the heck? Who the heck is that? Back to work, boy. <laughs> Was that live action Alan Wake? I felt nauseous, hungover. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems okay. I'm pretty sure that's live action now. Me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Wait. Alan went completely insane for like two weeks. He's not talking any sense. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, God. Oh, hey, live action Alan Wake. He kind of looks like him, I guess. You know, it's hard to translate into 3D models. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Oh, man, can I kick her in the head? Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> You're right. Deserve more money. I'm so handsome. <laughs> oh, Barry, you silly goose. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. All right, I think I'm going to be reading the manuscript pages from here on out. Uh, since I think this is where I stopped last time I played this game, which was... Again, a long time ago, so I don't really remember, but let's see. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. Why does this guy... Why does Mr. Randolph know her normal bedtime? Well, I mean, I guess technically he, he might know. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, well, yeah, okay, so these pages actually have pertinent information. Uh, she, the police were called. I'm probably going to be arrested. Which is means this game's probably going to turn into be a, I don't know, some sort of chase thriller thing. Ooh, more radio goodness. You're not gonna... Okay, I guess I have to go around the front here. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled, tangled bed sheets and dark, dark thoughts, thoughts. Punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> Is it just me? Huh. That's how I slept last night. But Not very comfortable for some reason. I know, I know, TMI. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have time to listen to you. I'm, uh, unfortunately, we're already ten minutes in and it's just been cutscenes. So, uh, hmm. Continuing in this direction, I suppose. Oh great, that jerk, he's gonna try and stop me, isn't he? I can already see his smug face. Oh, yeah, look at you, you piece of crap. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're Hemi under Oh, I get it, because he's a writer. Move a muscle all unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. 
Is Felaine another writer? Why are you running? Just tell them that she put stuff in your coffee. They'd be able to find it. Why are you running, you idiot? Why? Oh, that's right. He only has like 12 hours. He has no time to waste with police litigation. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. There you go. I'm just gonna head away from those lights. Come on, guys. We're in this together. Don't wrap me out. Uh, Alright. Oh, they got a helicopter in the sky. Oh, crap. I don't want to be captured by Paulus. There he is! There he goes! <laughs> there he is, and he's gone! No, you can't see me because I'm hiding in the foliage. Oh, damn. Yep. Crap. Oh, wow. Poor, my poor frame rate. Come on, you can do it. You can make it, Alan Wake. This is like the, mo the, the most low-energy police chase I've ever played in a video game. Oh, carp. Okay, there we go. Just walking along, running from the police. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. What does this one say? Uh, let's see. I kind of wish the music kept playing. It sounds... It's too quiet. For decades... The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power. So why does fiction make this darkness so powerful? It it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Wow, the darkness didn't even have anything planned until freaking he was on the ferry. And yet it's still able to pull all this off. Why is it getting all creepy dark? Oh. Come on, Alan. It's just a police car. Oh, whoa, what? Huh? You know, in case you wanted to go that way. Yeah, he's right there. Why is Wake so... a fugitive? Ah, looks like there's a little uh, power play going on in the small town of Night Falls. Or Bright Falls. I'm not. I'm not armed. They specifically took away my guns. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it all the heck. Drop hazard, huh? I mean, that's really only a problem if someone were to- ah! no, I'm falling out! I fell to my death! Oh no! I mean, that's only really a problem if someone decides they, you know, want to jump to their death or something. That'd be dumb, though. Why Why am I a fugitive? What did I ever do to the U.S. government? Does it, is, is Alan a secret, like, criminal? Is that why he's so high? Is that why he hasn't been writing all this time? Because he's been pulling heists, I, I suppose? Whoa, what's... I can't see. Oh, my God. Oh, the lights are going out. Oh, oh, God. 
Oh god, help him. Jeez. Well, serves you right for chasing a man who's possibly in innocent. Who's possibly incident. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. I do wear a tweed jacket. <laughs> no, the darkness. God, what's wrong with you people? Point of no return. I mean, I probably can't jump on over this rock, so... I wonder if there's anything over here. Nope. Huzzah! <gasps> oh my... Ah! Oh! Shoot! Run, Alan, run! Or hide behind rocks. You on the ground. Hold it right there. They're, They're just shooting the shotgun shells at me. Freeze. Wait, shouldn't their lights be healing me as well? Well, at least it's a shotgun. So, like, it can't hit me for a damn if I'm far away. Whoa. What happened? Where, what? What the heck happened? Oh my god! Whoa! Did those birds do that? Yeah, had to have been. Hmm. You'd think they'd be able to handle a bunch of birds. Thanks, birds, I suppose. I guess the uh, darkness needs to keep Alan alive so that he can write more. Ooh. Come on. Okay. Yeah, that thing crashed. As I had seen. Uh, this is James Mulligan Thornton. Come in. Over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, James. We what is this little device? What the heck's going on? Here. I'm over. so confused. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that Fed had a pretty distinctive whip of old Scotch around him. That's, uh, that's right, one of the manuscripts I read off camera mentioned, uh, him, that agent, drinking. I don't know why that's important. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Did you test the coffee for drugs? Because apparently I got knocked out. Oh, yeah, I bet you does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. I don't know, maybe they just let him... Take a mulligan. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, at first I thought those were like pay things where you had to put a quarter in, but that wouldn't really make much sense for like a ranger outpost. Like, quick, see what's over there. No, I don't have any change, man. We're going to have to search for those lost hikers some other time. Uh, is this where it came from? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Over the I hill through the woods. I the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Maine. 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 Was that, that was the guy on the radio, right? If I hadn't... Wait, Maine might be the girl that he was arguing with. I thought that was the sheriff. Ah, I'm just gonna go through here. The darkness that was after me was Ow. 
Uh, okay, I guess I gotta find a light then. Oh sweet, a ramp! If I had a skateboard, that'd be much cooler. There was no power to the searchlight. Mm. Curse you, electricity. No, oh, come on. Perfect. Is that just a, like sparks of electricity coming out of the wiring? Interesting. Zap. Generator conked out. Oh my see if I could fix god. It again. Why? Why do I have to fix it again? What purpose does this serve other than to just prolong the time it takes me to get through that, uh... Yeah, that was totally pointless. See, this is what I'm talking about. There was no reason for me to have to do that. It could have just worked the first time, and I would, yep. But no, they make me play that mini game twice. Although I did get, we did get to see an Alan Wake kick, so uh, you know, I guess that would be a good place to leave off for now because we're uh, unfortunately out of time. So. Uh, if you enjoyed yourself, please uh, consider liking and commenting on the video below. And if you really enjoyed yourself, consider uh, subscribing to my channel, where I will be playing more Alan Wake and other games. Alright guys, see you next time.